Hi guys, I'm Rabbit and welcome back to more Wild Arms. So previously we made it to St. Centaur after going to the Elf Pyramid and using the Kism Fire to light the furnace and it like brought us over to this new area. So after we arrived here, we talked to some of the locals and they informed us that there were some kidnappings or abductions that were going on and we spoke with I don't know if he's like the village elder or just some guy who was wearing a big fucking hat. And he said that we would need to go to the cage tower to possibly find out more information about it. And he gave us a key and asked if we would do that for him because I guess it was his job. So that's where we left off. And specifically, I did spend some time off camera and it didn't take too long at all. And I got enough um, Gela to afford all these items for everyone. So we're all up to date with equipment. I also practice Mystic on the new, or not the new, but on the old, hang on one second. Okay, I was just making sure I didn't do something bad. But anyway, I did Mystic on some of the items that I had had previously for Cecilia to see if the old equipment pieces would give us something cool in battle and alas, no. So I went ahead and sold the ones that are no longer doing anything for me because I have new spells. We had four crest graphs and we upgraded, I guess I should show that to you too. We upgraded Cecilia's list of things. I also rearranged how I want to be organizing my spells, which I know is really nitpicky and ridiculous and you guys are like, wow, rabbit, really? But yes, I decided I want all of the black magic or dark magic spells on the left side and then the white or light magic spells on the right hand side. And of course, they are respectively to their category organized alphabetically. So then we're good. We just have to finish exploring this town, which I don't think there's too much left, just this little upper left hand corner. And then we'll go to the northeast to the cage tower and hopefully find out a little bit behind what's going on with these abductions. So the kingdom of Arctica was destroyed overnight. Some think that this was the work of the demon race. And you would be correct. And I think I already looked here. But okay, let's check these first. And then I do want to sleep at the inn as well since I was lame and went grinding for Gela, and then I probably lost more. Well, our health should be, why do I keep doing that? Our health is okay, but I wanna make sure everyone's magic, and by everyone, I mean Jack and Cecilia, is up to where it needs to be. So we'll go ahead and do that. It only takes a second anyway, and ooh, a hearty apple. We'll talk to this lady and then we'll roll for it. Elf ruins are everywhere around Saint Centaur. They're supposed to house some kind of teleportation device that uses life energy. These lost ancient technologies, I tell ya. <laughs> I know, right lady? Okay. So our crew is rolling and <laughs> you see them rolling and you hating. And it goes to Jack. Which is nice. Okay, so we explored this house. I think we searched these barrels. Doesn't hurt to quickly mash more buttons. My specialty, of course. Oh, there are stairs. And a power apple, holy crap. I can't go down these though, can I? Oh, is that supposed to be a cat? It looks like a dog. Cage tower to the northeast was used for capturing monsters. A magic device stored in the tower immobilizes the monsters. It's like a giant cage. I would imagine that is why it is called cage tower. And again, the winner of this is Jack. This is working out, guys. We've had a couple moments where it was like, wow, really? Virtual face palm, but nothing really to see here. There is a magic key called the duplicator stored here. Anyone can open a sealed door with this item. That is why it is under guard. Please leave. Ooh, so we'll probably need that when we go back to Edelhide. I'm sure you guys recall there was a door and I thought I could use the teardrop to open it. I bet the duplicator is what we actually needed. So okay guys, that's it. We finished exploring, oh I think. Yeah, we were up here, we got an apple I believe. But okay, this officially marks the conclusion of exploring this place. So let's head northeast and see what is going down in the cage tower. And I will save as I mentioned, and rest. So let's obviously rest first. 30 Gela, hell yes. That is more than affordable. <laughs> I like how we all get our own little beds. I want to save. All right, and it's to the northeast. 
I would venture that they're going to have a sign somewhere that will help us locate where we need to be. So I'm not too worried about getting lost. I'm still hoping that we do run into a world map of some kind, though, because it would be really nice to get kind of a general glance of our surroundings and what we're kind of looking at. So, warning, danger, cage tower to the east, elf ruins, southeast. Okay, so we'll just keep east. Oh, I guess this is it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Talk about a cliffhanger, guys. We've got this battle. And yeah, I know, aren't these weird monsters so cool looking? I fought these in the forest that was a little bit to the northwest of St. Centaur when I was trying to get enough Gela for the armor upgrades for everybody. So there are definitely some cool monsters in this area. I also saw some like dog things called Hellhounds. They were really, really cool. I'm very impressed. Even though this game is from the late 90s, I still think that the graphics aren't as bad as some people bitched about them being back in the day. I know a big area that people hated was how the little sprites in battle are, I think fetus inspired is the term that has been used to describe them and I get it they have like giant heads and they do look kind of like fetuses but I don't know it's not that bad I think people just like to bitch it's locked well that's why we have a key and for me graphics have never been a deciding factor in whether or not I like a game obviously you want nice graphics the better the graphics you know you could argue the more immersive the gameplay but I think if the game is excellent graphics, but like a shitty storyline or horrible characters, then what's the point? At least that is how I approach it, but you know, to each their own, if graphics is a game-breaking thing for you. Ah, oh, and here are the hellhounds I was telling you guys about. And you know what? I probably should have seen how much it would have cost to upgrade Rudy's arm a little bit, but you know, I've invested a lot of money in it, and I think Rudy is okay. So, if I have to skip it for a little bit, I don't think it'll hurt us too much. But I don't want to get, like, overconfident and then not have the characters where they need to be for us to make it through fights successfully. But I'm going to just guess that we're okay for right now. Right, and we will wallop these hellhounds. But yeah, isn't that design really nice for this hellhound? I think it is. Okay, and another level for Jack, always welcome. So we're, we're gonna get to the bottom of this and see what is going on and why people are being abducted. Okay, so let's start by going north. Oh, well, just kidding. I'm going to go to the left and see what's over there and then we'll go up and around that little nook and cranny place. Done and done. And we're getting more heel berries. Oh god, we do not need any more fucking heel berries. Oh, there's another set of stairs. Ooh, but here's a chest. Oh my god, guys, with another crest crab. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is like my birthday early. That is so fantastic. Alrighty. More fucking heel berries, I tell ya. I guess it's okay. I'll go ahead and use some because we did take a bit of damage. I'll just take use them up but selling them was not too bad and let me see where this leads Ooh, this might lead us to another area which I don't want to oh well we would have needed to come here anyway so that's nice that worked out just fine guys seems I'm having a bit of good luck aren't I Usually when I'm dungeon crawling, I end up going everywhere except where I need to be. That has been a trend for a really long time, so I'm pleasantly surprised that I'm navigating this with relative ease. Oops, sorry about that, Jack. Let's blast these guys. And Jack just takes them out with like one hit. Which makes me sad because I like them so much. I wish you could somehow harness the monsters and use them in battle. I know that's not the kind of game that this is, but I really, really like the way that they look. I'm sure you guys are sick of me saying how much I like the designs of enemies, but I love them so much. I've also had it asked a lot whether or not I'm going to be doing a Wild Arms series Let's Play. So basically you guys are wondering, am I just doing Wild Arms 1? Am I going to continue to do Wild Arms 2? 
So I do just want you guys to know that I am definitely planning on playing Wild Arms 2 and possibly 3, 4, and I think there's 5 as well. I am not sure. Whoa! I should have charged that up <laughs> before standing on the platform. But yes, just know that for sure I can tell you right now that I will at least be playing 2 and likely 3 and 4. If there is a 5, there is a possibility I will be playing that as well. So this is not just like me only playing Wild Arms 1. I will continue and try to just complete the series for you guys. Oh my god. That did not work out well. I wonder if I could just walk. Yeah. That's probably what I... No! Oh my god. Oh, we got a round shield and a bullet clip. You must be able to synchronize with an arm in order to open the arm case. That would be Rudy. Prism laser arm acquired. <gasps> That's nice. Ooh, guys. Whoops, why am I looking at items? It should be magic from Prism Ray. Wow, that is nice. So this is what I'm going to be upgrading when we go back to Saint Centaur. We'll go to the inn and I'll have the arm guy spruce this shit up. Or wait a minute, was he in his own little area? Maybe he wasn't in the inn. I think the guy in the inn just refills your bullets. Nevertheless, you know what I'm saying. I'm going to take care of that. Protector for the left hand. Maybe for Rudy? Yes. Guys, we're getting such good stuff. This is awesome. But okay, to officially conclude what I was saying before I fell off those falling platforms, you can look forward to more Wild Arms. It will be a blast, and I hope you guys are as excited as I am. I really love this game so much. And I liked Wild Arms 2 as well. I know some people didn't like it as much as the original, but I thought it was fine. I like this one more, of course, but I will be playing number two for you, and I'll let you guys kind of decide for yourselves which you think is a superior game. But okay, we should almost be done, and I'm surprised that, <laughs> again, things are going so well for me, like I'm just waiting for something crazy to happen. But so far, so good, so I probably should just keep my fingers crossed, or my toes crossed, since I need my fingers to hold the controller. All right, but we should, I'm thinking, be near the top of this fucking tower. Like, how many levels does it have? Ooh, and here's a save point, guys. We'll go ahead and... Oh, I wonder if I should heal and restore magic first? We're probably okay, and we can do that in battle with Cecilia's Mystic. I think it'll be okay, but let me just make sure... Uh... Rudy, you're a little bit low. I'll go ahead and give you one of the heal berries. And I think everyone else is up to speed, so let's go up here. And I imagine a boss fight awaits us. Oh, what does this say? The sun rises from the east and sets in the west. The sun rises from the east again to light the path for the insecure. So east, west, east. Okay. I don't know what that means at all, but we'll try it. Can I go in here? The strange device binds the doors. Okay. East, then maybe west. And then... Oh, and then it's that stupid thing. And then east again, perhaps? I think that's what that was telling us. <gasps> yes! Guys, we're so awesome. I wonder what that middle door was for, just to fuck with people who didn't read what the little sign said. That's really interesting. Oh my gosh, Decarabia! That thing looks so cool. I don't want it to die because I actually want to see what Cecilia's Analyze spell has to say about it. It looks so crazy, is it like, a magician in a Star of David? Like, what the hell is that? Level 12, HP 350, magic 80, weakness holy. Okay. What are you doing? Oh, that must be the wind spell. There was like a wind magic ability that I didn't get for Cecilia, but I might go ahead and get it since we now have another crest graph. 
Um, but okay, we'll go ahead and make short work of these. Got, oh, I can't target multiple people, so we'll just, I don't know, do it this way, and Valkyrie will hit all of them. So this way they'll die, and then we can just hurry up. Because now, thanks to these stupid things, we're about up on time. But that's okay, so when we come back together in the next episode, following the conclusion of this battle, we'll continue... Oh, fuck me. We'll continue heading north. Well, not north, I guess. Heading up? I guess you could say north. To the peak of this tower and see what is going on regarding the abductions. Oh my god, I cannot believe they put us to sleep like this. Well, guys, we might be sleeping for a while. I hope we wake up. I've seen in a couple games, though, that when you're put to sleep, you tend to wake up when you're struck. So that's really interesting to me. But finally, Jack has the opportunity to attack since he's awake now. Well, fuck you, you stupid larva. Well, we will definitely be using fucking heel berries now. Because I do want to save some of Cecilia's magic. Wow, that awarded us a lot of gala. It's okay, I won't make you guys watch me do that, but when we do come back on the next episode, we are going to look in the treasure chest and then continue going to the top of Cage Tower. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm your host, Rabbit, and I will see you right back here in just a sec.